Hello and welcome back to all the mods nine. <laughs> We're all fresh back from our little adventure to uh, the blue skies region. So I'm thinking we're going to go into space with the Ad Astra mod. This, this episode is about rockets. We're building a rocket house. All right, I'm going to start laying out the, the idea. I got kind of a concept in my mind. Um, I'm thinking just go out straight like 10 ish blocks and then uh, make like a circle area. That'll be oh, like okay. the area for the launch pad. And then probably branch off in a couple other directions and make a couple other rooms where we'll have our NASA workbench, oxygen loader, and our fuel loader. Sounds good. I am going to get together all the blocks we need to start building said house. <laughs> Making different blocks. The question is, is how big of an area do we need for this rocket? I assume the launch pad is like three by three. Yeah. Do you think if we make the door three by three, it would be big enough? Or do you think we'd probably have to make it like five by five? Mm. I don't know on that one. I'm you know what I mean? Is it going to hit the edges? Are we going to blow up? Is it going to blow up the factory? That that's, would be uh, catastrophic. That's a good question. Tune in next week to see if we blow up the factory. <laughs> when in the focus mode got quiet, I apologize. <laughs> I'm, trying to focus I'm, I'm on doing what I'm the doing. same thing. I'm just sitting here like grinding. Oh. Just grinding away. Tearing this. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's very easy to get, you know, just kind of lost and doing your own thing. You do. But... Once you start doing something, it's like, oh, I need to pay attention here. Get a little bit of light in here. I can't see a dang thing. Yeah. I'm going to come down to you real quick and see what you think of these. Well, they do connect. Yeah, if it connects, then that might... Oh, man, that does... The peg, it's got, like, the... The peg is cool, picture. too. I don't know which one I like more. I think this I think this one kind of looks more like a vent, like an air vent or something. That one's sick. I like that one a lot. I think the pegged... I, I definitely need, like, a stack of the peg, because I feel like that would be really good for the door. You want a stack of the peg and a stack of the grill? I don't know about the grill. I don't know if I like this one or not. The the yellow striped probably at least a stack of that. I got two stacks of that. I would do you. two stacks of that. And then this I want for the door for sure. The Okay, so you want a couple stacks of the peg? Yeah. And uh the the grill one I'm not too fond of, but if you could look at the uh light gray concrete panel. Light gray concrete panel. Yeah, if you want to try and make one of those, that one might be that one might be the move. All right, I think I actually got it right this time. Five by five. So yeah, this is my idea for the center area. And then basically we have like open doors up there. Okay. And uh, launch pad right here in the center. Check this out. I, uh, I ran right into oil. Oh, well that's where we're gonna put our refinery. The oil refinery. So are we think this whole interior area is going to be white or I don't know if we want to do like what's what's the blocks we got to play with. You want to lay out some blocks for me? I don't know, something like that, you know? Like this being the ceiling, maybe this the floor and then concrete these on the side. Yeah. Going to need some lamps in here too. There's actually some cool lighting I want to show you. I think it works out pretty well for what we're going for, I think. Oh, wow. Edge edge lighting? Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. And you can just slap them. I mean, you gotta think that's not where it's gonna be, though, right? Yeah, I'm just wanting to show you what... How it looks. But you could put it up in these corners. 
once we lay down the floor and everything. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh, I like that idea. Are you gonna start laying down the floors and walls and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I think I got everything kind of laid out. I mean, honestly, you're you can't you can't really mess it up, bro. Like just however you would like to do the walls and everything is more than likely how I like it to. Honestly, I'm not I'm not gonna be too picky. But uh, I'm gonna start working on these doors. Did we do it right or did we do it wrong? Do what? Holy cow, we did it right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually surprised myself on that. I'm trying to make these motors and I'm, you know, you know how the, the create stuff is. Yeah. All right. So this is my first time attempting a door in, in, in create. I've never actually done this. So I want it to open three wide. So okay. it has to be four blocks away, right? So one, two, three, four. Cause that's, you know, it'll pull back. The three. Yeah. Okay. That's my idea. Okay. And then I think you need extensions for how far it goes. Okay. So you need one, two, th three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm following. I don't know if I'm following and I'm the one building it. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. But... And then, uh... Something like that. Okay. Okay. So now this should just need some power. And uh, a cl clutch with a link on it. So I'm going to need a couple flux points. I only have one. If you want to be a doll. What do you need? A flux point. A fluix. Fluix or flux. Uh, yep. There's a point for you. You should have grabbed it. Cool. Thank you. Okay. I uh, guess I could I could put it over here. Yeah. And then just put it right behind. Something like that. I'm going to do dirt on blue. That's how we know it's a door. Good deal. You got me curious on how this door is going to work now. <laughs> yeah, you've never seen a... No, I have not. All right, so this one should be receive or wait. I think I want this one to be receiving. Yeah. This one to be transmitting. Yep. Yes. And then It's a little <laughs> slow. It's a little That's slow. That's a blast though. That's Oh, I like that. It needs to be reversed too. That's cool. I like that. So it should be open without flipping it. Yeah, so basically the idea is you come down here, you flip the switch, and then it opens, and then there's gonna be like two more doors behind it. <laughs> and I kinda want I kinda want it so you just flip this one switch and it starts opening all of them. Yeah. You just but, put the same signal on it and Yeah, you're right. With like a oh, delay yeah, if I could. Maybe. So that's pretty cool. We got our first door down. I say we do our second one right here and it goes up. But will it have enough room to go up is the question. Two, three, four. And I'm going to set this to 16 because that's what the other one is. I like that slow, slow opening. Yeah. I like it too. It looks like a blast door. All right, so we're going to do our second door. I 
kind of want to do it these like caution blocks and then one of these exclamation points right in the middle nice hmm Ah, I see. I see what I did. I did not turn this on receiving. There we go. That'll do it. No, but I like what you got going on down there. It looks pretty cool. And it's coming along little by little. You know, it's not going to be perfect right off the bat. You're going to have to kind of poke with it and stuff. You. We might not love it. We may change some things here and there. Yeah, that's the beauty of Minecraft. You don't have to do it a certain way. Exactly. If you don't like it, change it. <laughs> Dang, I'm gonna have to make some more, uh, some more clutches. Or gear shifts, rather. Um. I'm going to do white concrete on the blue for these doors. Okay. White concrete on the blue. Lever right in here. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, that's a little awkward. What? Forgot to put the flux point on there. <laughs> yeah, without power, I don't know what it's supposed to do. All right, so once I turn this off, it should, it should shut. And of course it's not. Oh, I'm such a... Okay. There it is. You, you be ever, ever be working on something for a second and you're like, man, I can't... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> don't remember what to do, huh? Nope, I just... Uh, it just clicked. I need the piston extensions because why wouldn't it work with out the piston extensions? Yep. There we go. Okay. So switch down, it should keep it open, and then unswitched should should shut that bad mamma jamma. Oh yeah. I mean that's that's nice. Nice and slow. <laughs> I feel like the only thing we're missing is we need it to feel like a missile silo on the outside. So I'm gonna take some gray concrete and I'm gonna try to well, basically do what I just said. I'm already liking this build, though. Yeah. This feels cool. An underground missile silo to host our Ad Astra rockets and basically our, our, our space program. Yep. We're going to space. Nothing like a corny, a corny fellow and a, <laughs> a Mr. Fritz. Go into space to see aliens. Yes. Get all sorts of samples. Conquer the galaxy. Basically. I mean, now that you get it. That's what we're going to try. Is... I'm pretty sure you can make razor wire in this mod. I think so. Or in, in one of them. We need some razor wire around our, our missile silo. Yes. How's the interior coming? It's coming, little by little. I'm turning it into something. <laughs> Love your enthusiasm. Into something. I kind of like how it's turning out, so... I'm 
Do you want to flip that switch to open the door for me? Just so I can see what it looks like? Yep. Oh, wow. I like that. Really deep in thought today. Yeah, that happens. That's what happens when we build. We get deep into thought. <laughs> How does that look for the, uh, up there? Ooh, yeah. Looks clean. It does. Looks like, uh, we're about to launch a freaking rocket. It looks really good. I really hope we don't hit the walls when we launch the rocket. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there's a little bit of me that's like, I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Where's this? Where was this positivity last episode when we were fighting that massive tree boss? <laughs> That tree boss was a nightmare. <laughs> Plain and simple nightmare. What was it called? Like the Crusher or something? Yeah, the Starlight Crusher. Yeah, that thing was a beast. I slowed down the second door, dude. I think I think it looks so much better. Nice. Oh, oh yeah, this is definitely looking like a, where we're going to build space stuff. Well, what do you think so far? I think this is a good place. Uh, we should uh, definitely make the launch pad. Yeah. Do you got a couple more of those lights? Those light sources? I got nine of them, yes. You want uh, them? Let me just get four. Yeah, so I was just thinking like... Right in the middle of each one. Yeah, something like that. And then... Oh, this looks freaking awesome, dude. You want to come out here real quick? Yeah. Check this out. Yeah, those edge I lighting slow, I, make a big difference. I slowed down the secondary door, okay? Ooh. So when you open it, you can still see it. Like, it's got to... It's still not shut. You got to wait. <laughs> there it Clunk. is. But now it's more like... Oh, yeah. Wicked what's going on down here. Yeah. We're about to launch. Um. Too bad you couldn't add a warning buzzer or something to it as it opened. So it needs to go five blocks from the edge. Okay. And that would be one of the far sides. Do you have the launch pad already built? I do not. All right, I'll go try and see if we can make the launch pad this episode. That should be a thing that we can do. Ooh, we need steel plates. We should have some steel. Might we have we have a good amount of steel. We're just going to have to make an actual hammer set up. Don't we have that somewhere? Sir, are you yelling at me? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just here. Alright, launch pad. I believe we need nine. <laughs> Go and do... Your third person camera? Why you have that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, uh, I think I got the launch pad. You do. Where do you where do you want me to put it, Mr. Fritz? Uh I don't know where to We gotta go down. You gotta come down. This here thing is massive. Take... I mean I don't even will it fit through oh. the okay, it does fit. Alright. Well I'm coming this way. Uh hopefully I can squeeze through oh, here. Just enough. You made it just okay. wide enough. Alright. Alright, so now you One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the middle. I guess we didn't need nine. I guess one launch pad is. It is. It does suffice. That works either way. Well, cool. Uh, we got the launch pad. We got basically our whole aeronautics system ready. We just need to fill up this area. Yep, with the other components we need. So we're going to go to the space area. We're going to get our space station stuff ready, our rockets ready. Got two big blast doors opening up. Very cool. You can limbo under the second one. And then you come in here, you got your launch pad. Imagine a really cool rocket right here. Okay. And then uh, there will be 
a fuel loader off to the side and then an oxygen loader or a fuel a fuel refiner a fuel refiner and then an oxygen loader and then uh the nasa workstation yeah and then yeah a couple more components we'll do that next episode but this is all prepped and ready and by the end of the next episode, we'll probably be blasting off to the moon. How does that sound, Mr. Fritz? Ah, Mr. Fritz, Jesus. I didn't know where you were. I, uh, how does that sound, Mr. Fritz? I like the idea. Yeah, you like how slow that door is? It feels just like a blast door, like it should. Yeah, I like that. Yep. But on that note, see you guys next time. See you. Bye-bye.